Hey, hello everyone, Palito here, and welcome back to Heroes of the Storm. We're taking a deep dive into Nazebo next. I have four videos planned for you guys going over a variety of his builds. Up first is going to be the pure spider build Nazebo. Honestly, one of my favorite ways of playing the character can be a little difficult if you aren't the greatest at landing your skill shots. You do get punished really hard, but if you practice it, you will be rewarded. It does so much damage, and I tried to show off the variety of ways that you can absolutely dominate your foes in today's match. If you guys enjoy it, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button. We have a definitive deep dive playlist for Heroes of the Storm linked in the video description as well if you'd like to look at the other characters we have covered. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we find ourselves on Blackheart's Bay. Team, this is what I want you to do. I'm going to double soak top. You take bottom, all right? Four push bottom after we fight over this vision. This is one of the best maps for Nazebo because he's so good at double soaking. Our Q ability is Corpse Spiders, W ability Zombie Wall, E ability Plague of Toads. Q is a really difficult skill shot. W is a really difficult skill shot. And the E ability, basically enemies have to run into it themselves. <laughs> Our passive gives us uh, benefits for taking down minions and the goal of Nazebo is to get a bunch of stacks by the end of the game so that you scale throughout the course of the match. One of the easiest ways to do that, especially on Blackheart's Bay, is to double soak because uh, we can clear these lanes so damn quickly and we outscale most other characters that would be trying to double soak at the same time. Now, that being said, it is not difficult to shut this strategy down if the Nazebo is not paying attention. All you have to do is gank him once, and he will really, really, really start to fall behind. The enemy team's Blaze is moving up quite far. We hit him with some Corpse Spiders, and he gets taken down. I don't know where he was expecting to go. I had a zombie wall ready just in case we needed it. Speaking of zombie walls, you can put them down just like that to block areas. You can press W again if you have friendlies inside of that zombie wall or you just want to drop it you can press w again to drop it the enemy team's olaf continuing to soak the top lane friendly team today nazebo illidan johanna Greymane, and lucio sorry i forgot to uh announce that a little flustered on the way in enemy team brightwing jaina zagara blaze and the lost vikings even though they have the lost vikings we still want to soak as much as humanly possible Good spiders there. We put zombie wall in front of their exit to try to catch them and just leave it. Blaze is doing a lot of damage to me, but Lucio moves back up to help us leave that altercation. Uh, we definitely should be putting four bot if you guys want to play optimally. I don't know how try hard we're trying to be today. But force them to answer you, basically. Go put as much pressure on those bottom buildings that they have to stop soaking up here. Make them use the Vikings. Speaking of which, that should kill off all of that. We're at 26 stacks right now, and it's going to be my focus throughout the entire game to basically PvE as much as I can to keep those stacks rolling in. At level 4, we picked up our second spider talent. This is Corpse Spiders return 1% of our maximum mana and health every time they hit an enemy, I think. It adds up to be quite a lot of healing, especially over the course of an extended team fight. If you can land your spiders. That's really what it comes down to. You gotta land those spiders or everything's just gonna feel awful. I thought he was gonna move. I guess I'll just stand here and keep hitting him. We do get the, uh, he can just jump that later, but he doesn't have jump yet. We do get stacks for taking down heroes too for our passives. So killing a Viking is very, very, very good. The friendly team has moved down to the bottom lane and they are pushing. So I need to defend this. Uh, Zagara is empowering those minions, which might be a bit of a problem, but we shall see. Man is getting a little bit low because I haven't been picking up too many regen globes, but we just hit 44 stacks, so we're doing just fine. Go ahead and clear out a little bit of that creep. Uh, the enemy Zagara is still pushing. I think you can kill... Yes, you can. You can kill her creep with toads. It's just a little weird to do. I'm going to try to get on the other side of Zagara here and continue to deal damage. That Ultralisk will hunt me down pretty well, though. Let's see if she chases. She decided not to, so we will throw some more spiders. Oh, we missed. Oh, that feels horrible. Friendly team is getting kills down to the bottom lane, which is excellent. That is what we want to see. That is the point. 
of the strategy. Tried to hit her there with it. Didn't quite work out. I'm going to have to back, which means the enemy team is likely going to get ahead on Soak. But the friendly team has already taken down the tier one structure. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now at level seven, we're picking up the spirit of Arakir. This is going to cause our spiders to make more spiders, which give us increasing benefits for every spider talent that we have. Now our level one quest uh, after corpse spiders attack heroes a 100 times, their attack damage is increased by 25%, and they get a better duration. So we're still working towards that goal. We're about halfway there right now. We are nowhere close to the full potential of these spiders. I did want to take that coin camp, but I saw them pushing, so we moved up. Johanna coming in with a nice AoE slow. We do hit spiders, but in a situation like this where they're also in the minion wave, it's never going to be as optimized. Uh, the next Viking decided to just stand there, so we'll put the wall around him. Blaze and Jaina are responding to this push up top, though, if they keep pushing. Uh, I'll keep hitting them with spiders. Nice dismount. Yeah, he won't like that. <laughs> Let's see if we can just hinder his escape here. Where'd Jada go? Spiders on the way out. Oh, one of the beautiful thing about Nazebo spiders too is there's pretty much no counter. It's not like a, it's not like a hydralisk from Zagara, where if the hydralisk is re really being problematic, all you have to do is put a couple quick auto attacks into it, and then it won't do anything. These spiders, if I land my auto attack, there is, or if I land my skill shot, there is no avoiding the chaos. Uh, trying to hit Brightwing here. Do get stunned out by Blaze. We'll hit Blaze instead. And then Zombie Wall, his escape, hindering his ability to leave. That allowed my spiders to get in there and deal some more damage, which set me up to complete my quest. We're now dealing 25% more damage. We're also just going to Spirit right here as Greymane is chasing after that kill. We'll help him get that damage in. We also get credit for these minions dying because they have our poison on them. Let's wall that. Oh! We're fine. I miss spiders. Uh, I do have sip. I probably want to get it soon. Let me move back up here, though, and soak this lane. We're at 71 stacks. Again, this does need to be your focus all the time, even if we are not going for that level four trait talent. This is still very, very important. The reason for that is one of the strongest talents at level 20 for Nazebo is this Vile Infection, the Voodoo Ritual. When that gets empowered, it allows you to poison people with your auto attacks, which is really, really, really strong. Unfortunately, to unlock that, you need 175 stacks at level 20. I mean, you don't have to get them at level 20. You can get them at like level 25 if the game is still going on. But a good goal to shoot for is having that quest done way ahead of time. I thought she'd be moving that way for some reason. Three top. If our team continues to push bottom, they won't be getting any value. But it looks like we're kind of going after close at this point, which is fine. Uh, we will try our best to not overextend chasing this cigar down. She presumably has a way out in there, right? Oh, wait, what? <laughs> I thought she had a nidus in there. That was just a really long bait she played herself. <laughs> uh, we are going to take Superstition at level 13. Now, this is cool. Superstition actually used to be kind of bleh, but they added some cool spider interactions with it. What Superstition does is... Uh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Zombie wall. Nice, 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 nice. We're good. He got out. What Superstition is going to do is we're going to gain 40 spell armor all the time. So this will help mitigate damage from Zagara as well as Jaina. If we do get attacked, that spell damage is that spell armor is going to be reduced. But we also spawn little spiders as we go. I saw the Brightwing teleport happening and I knew two players were going to be grouped up for this. So I immediately just let the ult rip. What Brightwing should have done there is just rush me. That's an easy polymorph to cancel my ult. But I was intentionally trying to surprise them with that. And I'm very, very glad that it worked. Uh, the enemy Viking is pushing the top lane right now. We just rotate up here and try to deal with that. Spiders on him. Should do the job pretty fucking quick, to be honest with you. Thank you for those stacks. And we will just... Uh, I'll zombie wall this. Toad, spider, back line, and that should push on its own. And then I will move... Oh, God, I can't get easy stacks in the middle lane, which is actually a bit of a problem. Uh, trying to back, I just keep calling repeat instead. I want a new keyboard. All of my keys are one off. Still trying to adjust to it. Uh, Zagara getting hunted by Illidan and jumped on by Greymane. There is no hope there. 
Um, I don't have any easy stacks. Top lane might be pushing back towards us, but no, we have a catapult up there, so that's pushing away. Uh, Blaze is looking at this camp down here. I wonder if he's coming. I wonder if he's going to veer off or if... <laughs> Oh, so spiders now reduce ability cooldowns, which means we can spider. And then that makes our spiders come back off cooldown even faster. Caught a Viking. Spiders out. We're going to fall back here and spirit right on top of Jaina, who's standing still. Jaina trying to move forward, kind of gumpling around here. I am going to cancel that and just go for straight damage. If she's continuing to run this way, we could try to cut her off but I think I'm a little too slow until Lucio gets here. Here's my spider throw. It does catch her, it does catch her. That's Jaina down. Uh, spider throw again on Brightwing. Down. Perfect. Now I'm gonna veer off and go get these coins. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're getting sex there at 117 at level 16. Uh, these coins will help out our team quite a lot. Wow, we're out soaking the Vikings. That feels pretty good. Let me tell you, that feels pretty fucking good. Uh, I'm going to grab top coins too. Spiders are actually insanely quick at doing this, especially when you go spider build because you're spawning in more spiders than normal. And how this works is each of those health bar segments is just a single hit. So because we're making so many spiders, those hits happen really, really fast. Uh, everyone on the enemy team has almost respawned. Very risky for me to move this way across the map, but I did it anyway. Uh, we see the Vikings down in the bottom lane pushing. No one else spotted except for Zagara. So again, I'm still very, very vulnerable right here. We just spotted Jaina on the map. That gives me a little bit of a safety net. Huh? All right, perfect. Ah, I don't have any minions to kill. Here's some. <laughs> this is becoming actually a pretty big problem. Slowing down my stacks quite a lot because we've been so successful in every lane, even with the double soaking at the beginning of the match. Uh, one of the Vikings is up top. Here's how I'm going to deal damage to him. Zombie wall first. <laughs> that plan kind of got messed up. <laughs> I wanted to surround him before the Viking got alerted that he was taking damage. That way I have a bit more of a window to punish him. We're just going to spirit this right away with the spider damage on top of Blaze. He is as good as dead. Gray Mage chasing down Brightwing there as well. Take him down very, very quickly. Let's test my Viking theory. So wall. Oh, he's watching it. He's watching it. He's watching it. Okay. Let's kill this wall and this wall. And then the minimap will be a little bit harder for him to read and maybe make adjustments too. That being said, Grand Main jumps right in. Let's get boss. We have a, a long time, long time. Uh, because I've been scaling my defenses, I might be able to tank this boss relatively okay. <laughs> it wasn't my intention to trap you in the zombie wall, but it was already there. And I'm not going to take it down. <laughs> this build is on the more difficult side of Nazebo builds because you're not really banking on that passive HP from Big Voodoo here. In order to get your healing, in order to get your sustain, you have to land one of the more trickier skill shots in the game. The spider corpse can be difficult to get where you want it. Uh-oh, bud. Uh-oh, bud. I kind of feel bad for this Viking, dude. Oh, my God. Getting absolutely picked on. I do see Zagara moving up with some confidence here against our Illidan. I'm going to come in with a flank here, potentially. Illidan does see some Vikings in the back. We miss our spiders on that Viking. That's a bit of a problem. I could spear it right here, and I don't think that would be a bad call. Zombie walling to catch the Zagara, the hunt back in. Oh my god, that damage. Oh my god. So this is where we need to make a decision. We're level 20. My uh, stacks slowed down quite a lot because all of our lanes were pushed. Do I want to continue to invest in Voodoo Ritual and get a very good talent at level 20? Honestly, I would say yes. But because I don't have my stacks yet, I'm going to use this opportunity to show you Annihilating Spirit and the kind of bullshit you can do with it. How does Jaina stop that? How does Blaze stop this? That's just free real estate. Uh, I am going to... Uh, we'll follow up. Zombie walls are also excellent for taking the attention of towers in a pinch if you need it. We are on core now with the Vikings coming up in protest. We missed that spider against them. 
And with our, what level talent is that? With our 16 talent, that cooldown reduction we get from landing spiders, we are punished so hard if we miss and don't land them. It really comes down to how confident do you feel in your ability to land a small jar in your enemy over and over. This is probably my favorite Nazebo build. The one I'm going to show you guys next is probably my runner up. But unlike most characters, I would say Nazebo has four distinct builds that we're going to take a look at, where most characters have between two and three. So I do find that pretty encouraging. We got 30% of our team's hero damage, or 30% of our team's siege damage done. Great main snags the MVP. And now we will take a look at the stats. 38,000 hero damage, not bad at all when you consider how much we were splitting off. XP contribution didn't quite rival the Vikings, but I think we did a good job of shutting those guys down. Talents are anything with a spider in it, <laughs> as well as ravenous spirit, superstition. There's technically a spider in that. And again, annihilating spirit, just because I wanted to show it off in one of these videos, we didn't have the stacks we needed for the vile infection. So why not? I actually think this talent's really, really good though. Also reduces healing. So if a, I would probably use this against like a Stukov, a character that is really, really good at AoE heals around them very, very quickly. You could cut that down pretty substantially. And I think that could change the momentum of a fight really easily. That's going to do it for our first Nazebo video, but there's more on the way. Check back again very soon.